out of Pension Solutions Canada. <clears throat> Time to go to my barber. Um, PensionSolutionsCanada.com. I do get a bunch of calls, 15-minute free video, go on our website. Hey, Bruce, how do I calculate the commuted value of my pension? So, you know, the real answer is call your pension plan administrator and find out because only the pension plan actuary at your company, your pension, can give you an exact answer. Just to back up, the commuted value is the, um, is the cash, the money or capital required to pay you out a pension for life. So your uh, actuary will, will pick a figure and that is <clears throat> theoretically put aside or assigned to you, earmarked to you, and that money is there to pay you out. Now there are such things as mortality tables. So it's, it's variable, but it's the plan administrator who can give you the exact answer and only the plan administrator. That's it. Sorry. So beyond that, it's a guess. So let's guess. Okay. So keep in mind that, uh, you know, commuted values vary with age. The younger you are, the more they have to give you. Vary with gender. Women outlive men. So women are higher, higher commuted values. Um, big impact, of course, is uh, bond yields. You know, if, I, if the actuary has to put aside <clears throat> enough to pay you $750,000 to age 85, what kind of yield is there on the money to, to make that happen? So at a guess, and I've just put this in the blog on our site, pensionsolutionscanada.com, add up all your pension payments to age 85 and then have a look at 60 to 80 percent of that amount because what we're calculating is called the, um, the present value of future cash flows to be technical sorry that's confusing but back to the right answer you know if you don't like answer b go to answer a call your actuary call your pension plan administrator so there's the guess uh and it's a big spread 60 to 80 percent but um Remember that the maximum transfer value is going to knock you sideways. When you take the commuted value of your pension, chances are there's a large portion that is cash, that is non-tax sheltered. So in whatever year, you're going to have income of $400,000, $800,000, some big number. And that's all taxable. And that points to, let's talk about what time of year to retire. So anyway, that's the maximum transfer value that's going to, you know, whack you. Um, in any case, remember that you control your spending. So live within your means, pay off your debt. If you're having trouble managing debt while you're working, how the heck are you going to do it when your income drops in retirement? You know, pay off your debt. So what's the best solution? <clears throat> Best solution is to double dip. Take the commuted value, set it aside, go back to work. You don't have to go back to that crappy job that you hate. Find a job you love, full-time, part-time, whatever it takes to pay your living expenses, your operating expenses, food, house, car, fun. You don't have to save money anymore. You know, you don't have to contribute to RSPs anymore. You can but you have this commuted value set aside. It's like your grandmother dies and she leaves you half a million dollars. You keep working, you've got the half a million, don't spend it. But if you really, really need a yacht, well, you can buy the yacht, you have the cash. Anyway, that's the best solution, double dip. So uh, in conclusion, I repeat myself, What? how do you, how do you calculate the, uh, pensions, commuted value, get a hold of your plan administrator. Thanks for watching. I also put this on the blog. Um, there's, there's many other blogs and, and videos. Have yourself a wonderful day. Get a hold of us, 15-minute uh, free um, consultation, Zoom with me. We can talk about you.
Okay. Thanks. Bruce Youngblood, PensionSolutionsCanada.com.